Should I go there? Or there? Well, this one has a hill. Go monument again. And you go lighthouse. You go circus to a coliseum. Nothing else gives happiness here, from what I see. Yeah, sure. Oh, yes! The land of opportunity. Hello, Egypt. Give me your silver. I love Egypt. I sold my cotton to a guy from Egypt um, for two billion dollars. Am I supposed to dislike them? One, two, three. <laughs> okay, so I can do this trick. I want this horse and this horse and this horse in two different cities. One, two, three. This is a city right here. One, two, three. This city right here. One, two, three. This city right there. You die, you work, you work, you work, but you stop. Well, if you're giving me this many choices, <laughs> I'm happy. We just found an island here. I mean, it's not much. It's our little island. But it's a city. It can become very sexy. Very sexy, yes. Uh, yeah, I want this horse. Go for it. Uh, repair it. Work this one. And then stop. Ah, fuck. Well. Settlers can't do that. So we have to go up to astronomy for my settler to be able to settle this island. Well, where would I settle it though? Here? Here we're taking this from him. Here is better probably. <sighs> okay. Go there and settle the city I was talking about earlier. Wait, I want another one. Let's go for nine cities. Nine cities is okay. Let's go for a monument to a lighthouse. I'm doing the monument first because even though it's not... Um, I'm doing the monument first because even though it's not uh, instant happiness like the Coliseum, it's uh, an investment in happiness and culture through naval tradition. Because we are going to get this one faster, which means we're going to get more culture from our lighthouses that we're building. Give me your sweet sugar, baby. Sweet, sweet sugar, baby. Sweet sugar, baby. Sweet, sweet sugar, baby. Sweet sugar, baby. Baby. Give me baby sugar, baby. Okay, five turns. Oh, a great scientist is built. Uh, put him on the pasture. You go destroy that road, you go build one there. The Great Wall. The Great Wall of Austria. Oh my God, yes. Beautiful. Now we did the thingy, let's do the lighthouse and then a coliseum. No, we coliseum is not going to give anything in this town. You know what? Go do that city first. Did he do it? Okay.
Uh, we just, just did the Coliseum there. So let's do a harbor. I know we connected everything with roads, but harbor gives us culture and happiness too. And I will want culture and happiness in the future. Stop the road. Complete the road. Complete the circle. Release the Lich King from the prison. Return the blade. Go there. <laughs> Okay, I think we're pretty much done here. I am too... What? Yes, let's get started. Who are we fighting? Pedro. Pedro. We are at war. Guys, this is it. Um, this is how I would play Liberty. Now, I would put another city there. Then put another city here on that horse. So, he gets a circus, he gets a circus, he gets a circus. Uh, does he get the circus from the thingy? No, he doesn't, but it's okay. The elephant gets a circus from the horse too, but that's just unlucky. Capital gets a circus. This guy will get a circus. When we go to observatories, I'm going to build another settler there. Now, it's a cute coastal empire. Look at this city. <laughs> so fucking crap. Um, hmm. What are we doing now? What was I saying? Yeah, then harbors and from harbors maybe to seaports because if you are at astronomy and a coastal empire might as well rush navigation, get your frigates, rush some fucker, some poor fucker like Rome. Yeah, he won't be able to deal with that. Um, Though we don't have the great lighthouse, we are going to have some kind of a weak religion. No. No, thank you. I don't want. Great prophet. Let's do a religion and then uh, kill it. Well, Portuguese were Catholics, so let's get them angry. <laughs> uh, this one is strong. It's kind of strong. This one is good, but we are going to build the Fitoria. Yeah, tithe is up. You just have to do tithe when it's up. Now, this one says 12 uh, citizens give you science rights. So I'll just take this one because it's more, more happiness and doesn't need the faith. Uh, I'll just take it to Ras because we didn't take the normal path. We wasted a lot of science on compass and we are going to waste, waste, waste some science on astronomy too. Though astronomy pays back in science through the observatory, we are going to waste science in navigation again. So I want a science boost in the early game so I can catch up easier. So this one will give me this one faster. So that's why I take this one always first. Do the harbor. We are happy. We are going towards the golden age. Um, we are at the strength, at the height, the golden age of uh, exploration uh, builds. This is the point where everything works perfectly and you're rushing, then you check if your economy is stronger than your opponents. Yeah, this is it guys. Um, I would build a Victoria to show you how it works. But I retardedly killed this guy and the Vatican City. Oh my god, two resources here. I forgot about that. Okay, let's let's build a Fitoria so I can showcase how it works, uh, its strengths and weaknesses. Now that we um, circled and circled the Vatican, uh, well, we don't care about land. Um, land tiles. We care only about coastal tiles and maybe hills. Now let's go do a Fitoria on the Popoman. Hey, Popoman! I 
פילה נובה דה גאה. וואו. וליקה ואי טייטל. יאה, let's go like this, this gives the maximum culture. I always go for the maximum culture in these games. Because the faster you get culture, the faster you get your economy running in a very decent and strong, actually, not a decent one, but a very strong kind of way. Now I think I'll kill this road. Uh, remake this one. Kill this one too. Okay. So. Constructs a Fitoria in the city-state's land. Provide you one copy of every luxury resource type connected to this city-state regardless of your relationship with a city-state. Also provides a defensive bonus. Kill this guy. I, just, I mean, the game is over, so I'm just killing stuff. <laughs> this city. I like this city very much. I can tell you, I like cities like this very much. That you don't need to build them, but actually building them is a benefit and this is exactly what this city is because if you're playing like this you just want to spam cities everywhere everywhere you can put them everywhere you can squeeze a city state squeeze it a city state no a city not a city state <laughs> get just fucking fortify Okay, I'll just showcase the... he declared war on me because I settled that city. That's okay. We want to show the, the Vitoria. Die. 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 And then we'll, we'll close it. It just do something crazy. Yeah, you go pe... Wow. This might actually work. Let's go! Let's go, people. Oh my god, he has a lot of army. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. I mean, he's attacking because he's an AI. A player wouldn't attack. A player wouldn't have this much army. And the player... Oh my god, what? Come on, do. Poor guy. Yeah, a player might attack, but, you know. I wasn't playing against the AI. If I were, I'd play it differently. I just wanted to show the Victoria. Also, all these are coastal cities, so when we have frigate rush, we can take everything back, and his uh, army is useless against frigates. Okay, so this says tile owned by the Vatican improvement Victoria. So it is their tile. So we can pillage it, of course, but now we get gems, um, gold, actually. See here, plus four from gold, because we build it. This is all it is. It's kind of okay. I mean, it's not crazy. But yeah, let's see our city die from, from the Danes. Fucking Danes, man! Uh, see you guys next time in Civilization V, the first few turns.